Is life fair when a person suffers physically people sympathize with him or her when someone is mentally ill on the other hand people in our country think differently mental disease is a taboo subject in our society we never consider that mental health is as important or even more important than physical health i was working with a psychiatrist who specializes in treating mental diseases i was helping her rehabilitate patients treatment alone is not enough it is equally important to rehabilitate these patients normally people presume that a mentally ill patient will always remain mentally ill a mentally ill patient is often considered a mad person in our society my doctor friend kusuma tells me of many such instances these true stories are heartrending and at times also amusing it seems that once at a party kusuma met a woman who was well known in society a few years earlier kusuma had treated this lady for depression and cured her completely kusuma was happy to see her and want to greet her but as soon as this woman saw kusuma she walked away kusuma was taken aback having expected a warm welcome after some time the host introduced kusuma to all the guests this lady behaved as if she didn't know kusuma at all after the party was over she came and apologized doctor you should excuse me for seeming indifferent towards you you have given me a new life but i didn't want to recognize you in the presence of so many people everybody knows you are a psychiatrist they will guess that i was once your patient and may think i am still mad she left in tears as kusuma looked so helplessly once i wanted to discuss some low technology projects that could employ patients and give them a source of income so i went to kusuma's clinic the receptionist asked me to wait as there was a patient inside in the waiting room i saw an old couple sitting next to me there were no smiles on their faces they looked very worried their clothes showed that they were affluent the patient was probably their daughter i then thought that children's mental health brings much more happiness to parents than money after some time the patient came out and i entered kusuma's chamber i forgot my ideas of rehabilitation as thoughts about this couple troubled me i wondered what their problem was and asked kusuma but she wouldn't tell me as it would have been a breach of trust however she did narrate a few incidents about patients whose identity she did not disclose one of my patients maya came from a cultured background she was married into a highly educated but less cultured family It was an arranged marriage where the groom's job was more important than cultural compatibility. She was married to Jagdish and his sisters and mother were always cruel to her. It was surprising that Jagdish who was in a good position was scared of his mother and extremely obedient. The mother took advantage of the situation and would always trouble the innocent daughter-in-law. Jagdish was more his mother's boy than Maya's husband. Kusuma, this is the story in most homes. How many women have suffered in the same way? That's true. Social pressures are high. Many a time, films and TV serials give too much importance to marriage and finding a husband. How did Maya react? Maya tried her level best. Like any other Indian woman, to adjust to her in-laws she worked hard to establish a good relationship she always felt that one day or the other her in-laws would change but when she became convinced that her husband would never take her side she went into depression a woman wants her husband to love her but that she will be ready to face anything but once she knows that she will not get this love She feels utterly disappointed. I imagined the young and sensitive Maya going through all these trials. It takes time to recover from mental agony. 
she might have come and cried many times to kusuma what treatment did you give maya i called jagdish and his mother explained to them that what maya needed was tender love and care not money they never understood he is the principal of a college but does not understand the simple philosophy of love he is acclaimed as a great teacher on paper but his wife is a mental patient i called maya's parents and told them there seemed to be no hope that jagdish would care for their daughter maya should realize that and start to live her own life without depending on her husband's love it was very hard for them to accept this but as a doctor it was my duty to tell the truth what happened to maya i treated maya for a long time over several counseling sessions many anti depression tablets and now she is all right she is back with her parents kusuma isn't it unfair jagdish is the bad person but poor maya had to undergo the treatment the person causing the problem is happy and through no fault of hers maya suffers what is worse is that society will blame maya for leaving her husband yes who says life is fair life is always unfair if you want you can make it fair